Welcome to today's video and today we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. The first time I looked at the Surface I didn't know if it was a tablet or a laptop. But we're soon going to find out. In my opinion, it's not fair to say this is a laptop. It's best, the best from both worlds. It both have a kickstand and a keyboard. This means it has to be something in between. The kickstand can actually stand in a lot of different positions, as you can see right now. And all the way, almost a flat surface, so it's great for drawing on with this stylus. The difference between this stylus and old touch styluses is, is because this one has a hard end which makes it a lot easier to fight on. The top button also functions as a one note opener and you tap it and you go, go, go into one note where you can draw, take notes or write with the keyboard without any problems at all. I found this feature to be very useful because I have used it in many occasions. The operating system in this device is Windows 8, which is fully functional Windows, but it has a UI user interface which makes it touch friendly, which I like a lot. It also has an app store and so on. You can also use the normal Windows home, home screen without any problems at all because this is running full windows this means you can download any programs at all from the internet and install to this device without a problem in the home screen you can also slide down to get to all the different apps you have installed at the device at the moment Please also make sure that you rate this video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to my channel. This device also has a multi-windows feature, so when you slide from the left and hold on it, you can see right now on the screen, it may creates two windows, one on each side. You can also have three of these simultaneously, and it's great for for an example, watching movies and watch and doing email at the same time. One problem which I find in the keyboard section or the keyboard attachment is the mouse pad. In my opinion, it's too thin and I would like it to be bigger. It would and it's also detachable with a magnet. So you just drag it off and you can drag it on. And the magnet is actually so strong, it can actually hold the device with only the keyboard attached. On the left hand side of the device, you can find a volume rocker and a headphone jack. At the back, you can find a camera. And on the top of the device, you can find a power button. And the two speakers. On the right side you will find a long charging port, and USB, and a mini display port. And at the front of the device you will find a front facing camera and a home button. So what do I think about this device? Personally, I like this device a lot. I think it's a great device, but there are some flaws. For an example, the price tag is a really expensive device but if you want a laptop and a tablet together it's worth it. I'm also gonna make it easier for you guys to understand the grading of my devices so that's why I'm changing it from 1 to 10 instead of from 0 to 100. So this device scores an 8 out of 10 and why it didn't get 10 is because of the high price tag actually.